Hello everyone. Welcome to Madam T Mathematics class. Let's look at Mathematics Year Four. Problem solving involving time. Let's look at our textbook, page one hundred sixty-seven. Question one: Jajit and his family boarded a ferry from Kuala Pelis to Langkawi at thirteen thirty hours. State the time in twelve-hour system. Okay, the key words is the time in twelve-hour system. Okay, the time. Which time? Which time is it? Is this one thirteen thirty hours? Okay, means that this is in 24-hour system. Now you need to convert it to 12-hour system. Okay, you need to convert to 12-hour system. If 12-hour system, there is a.m. or p.m. at the back. Okay, now you look at the 24-hour system. This is hour, 13 hours. So it is already more than 12 right so i need to minus 12 then i will get 1 so means that it is 1 30 a.m or p.m let's think it number two the table show a schedule for history research work by a group of year four intellect pupils the research is completed in five weeks okay means that they finish their research in five weeks okay in five weeks including discussion find information and write report now the question asks you what is the duration for writing the report Okay, writing report, what is the duration? Okay, now we need to use subtraction. Okay, this is total. Ini jumlah. Ambil jumlah. Tolak 3 days. Tolak 2 days, 6. 2 weeks, 6 days. Okay, means that we, did, we need to do this. 5 weeks minus 3 days minus 2 weeks and 6 days. And the question didn't state in what unit. Soalan tak nyatakan dalam unit apa. So, anda boleh tulis dalam unit yang sesuai. Sama ada weeks and days ataupun days. Okay. For this one, you refer to this uh, number sentence. Weeks and days, right? So, better you choose this one. T table. Okay. Better you do the answer in week and dates. So, remember the relationship for weeks and days. One week is equal to seven days. If you want to borrow, make sure you borrow seven days. Number three, a company is constructing three housing projects as shown in the Table, okay, garden A, B, and C. Calculate the duration for all projects to be completed. All, all means semua, semua, okay, means that garden A, B, and C. So, for this one, we need to use addition, alright? You just add up the three duration, tambahkan ketiga-tiga tempo masa, okay? And then how to add? Use the T table. And then remember the relationship between years and months. One year is equal to 12 months. Number four. Hiri's mother works 8 hours and 30 minutes daily. Okay. Daily. 8 hours 30 minutes daily. Daily means one day. Sehari bekerja 8 jam 30 minit. Calculate the duration in hours and minutes. His mother worked in 20 days. Okay. 
Sekarang nak 20 days. So, means that we need to multiply. One day, 8 hour 30 minutes. 20 days, you need to times 20. And then, the answer in hours and minutes. is already in hours and minutes. So, we just calculate by using, we just use the T table. Okay, you write 8 and 30 minutes times 20 times 20 and then make sure the minutes after you calculate the answer for minutes it is not more than 60 pastikan tempat minutes ni jawapannya tak boleh lebih 60 minutes kalau lebih awak kena convert you have to convert it to hours number 5 Nita and Chin were assigned to three Asian countries for 32 days. Okay. Dua-dua orang ini ditugaskan pergi ke tiga negara. Cambodia, Brunei and Philippines. So, the total days they spend there is 32 days. Jumlah masa 32 hari. And then, A... How many weeks and days were they in Philippines? Okay, Philippines, you have to find out the duration uh, they've been in the in Philippines. So, the answer is in weeks and days. Okay, so we have to minus lah. This is total. This is total. Okay, 32 days. Then we subtract 11 days and... Again, one week, seven days. Okay? The answer is in weeks and days. Jawapan dalam weeks and days. Okay. Perhatikan number sentence ini. 32 days and 11 days are in the same unit. So, we can settle this first. Kita boleh buatkan ini dulu. 32 days minus 11 days. So, we get 21 days. After that, we use a T table, 21 days minus 1 week, 3 days. So, then you will get the answer in weeks and days. And remember, the relationship is 1 week equal to 7 days. So, when you need to convert, you have to convert. If days more than 7, you have to convert to weeks. Number 5B. Calculate the difference in duration in days when they were in Cambodia and Brunei. Okay, the keywords is difference. Different means subtraction, minus. Okay, in days. The answer in days. And then, for Cambodia and Brunei. So, means that we need to minus, okay, bigger minus smaller. So, which is bigger? Don't know. Never mind. Okay, we convert one week first, then you will see. One week, tukar dulu kepada days. One week is seven days. So, one week equal to seven days. And then, these three days, I have to plus. So, seven days plus three is eleven days. Now, only you minus. Bigger minus smaller. So, means that eleven days. Minus 10 days. Then you will get the answer. Last one. The five phrases of construction of a business complex takes four years and seven months. Each construction phrases, each construction phrase has the same duration for completion. What is the duration in months for each construction phrase? Okay, maksudnya dalam satu pembinaan satu kompleks ada lima peringkat. Okay, lima peringkat ni mengambil masa empat tahun tujuh bulan. Setiap peringkat mengambil masa yang sama. Jadi soalan tanya berapakah tempo masa dalam bulan? Bagi setiap construction, bagi setiap peringkat. Okay, ini keywords dia yang penting. 
lima peringkat, five phrases, four years, seven months. Sekarang dia nak jawapan dalam months untuk each. Each maksudnya satu, one. One phrase. Okay, maksudnya macam ni. Five phrases take time for years, seven months. If one phrase, how many months? Okay, this is the question. This is the solution. So, how to solve this one? We need to use division. Kita kena bahagi. Okay, sebab dia kata dia nak satu peringkat. Satu peringkat, setiap peringkatnya sama masa. Jadi, kita kena divide. Okay, before divide, before divide, you look at this one. Four years. Four years, we need to convert to months. Kenapa nak tukar months? Sebab jawapan nak dalam months. Okay, one year is equal to 12 months. So, four years means that four times 12 months, then I get 48 months. Okay, after that, this seven, I have to add with 48. Okay, once you convert this one to months, then only you divide by 5. Okay, selepas tukar unit, baru kamu tu bahagi dengan 5. And jawapan dia adalah dalam months. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you and happy learning.